Speaking of wake you up, we're going hospital. Time for uh, some board talk and some things going on as we welcome Brad and Carissa to the program. Good morning. Good morning. How are we'll you? Wake you up because Brad's here. And now I guess we've got to go go. We got to go go. Isn't that what I just heard? There you go. That's right. Go go. Um, speaking of go go, how are things go going? Um, exceptionally well. Awesome. You know, the staff has really been working hard over the last several months, and and um, we, we we've started to see the the benefits of that and and. The other big thing is that we're just opening up a lot more opportunities to take care of the community. So I know you've been, been to a, a couple of meetings I've been to, and uh, every time you, you're announcing that uh, you're you're adding to the staff, and that's exciting. Absolutely, um, we can. You know, I'll let you know. You know, obviously, in the last uh, month, we've uh, given Krista a lot of work to do <laughs> from a marketing perspective. We've added a new position assistant, Kelly Orr's, over at the Schaefer Building, and we've added a new nurse practitioner, um, Carrie Pulley. Um, Family practice out of Ac um, Argus Medical, or sorry, Akron, Akron Medical. Um, Dr. Rindlisbacher, our new podiatrist, yes. is there at Schaefer. And then we also have uh, Dr. Walton, our new OBGYN, who's there at the uh, Woodlawn Medical Professionals. So, um, very busy month. Yes, that's very awesome. Very busy month. And we're still looking. We're still looking for a couple more family practice docs. Um, I know the last time I was with you with a, a chamber meeting, you, if you remember what we ta you talked about, why don't you tell the people? Because it's it was an interesting fact that actually we don't have enough doctors here. Yeah, so the Indiana Hospital Association and then um, several different entities, the American Medical Association and such, they kind of review the, the need for providers um, in a specific geographic region based on the demographics mm -hmm. of the area. And um, we've been considered a medically impoverished community for about a decade, um, which basically just means that based on our population, we do not have enough primary care providers to care for everyone's needs. You know, and if you look at it, you, you think, oh, we've got a lot of, a lot of physicians around. But, we do. We but do. when you look at it, you know, in coordination of, you know, the population, there's not. Well, absolutely. I mean, obviously, uh, we have an aging population across most of central Indiana. Um, and then, so that leads to typically people who have more medical mm -hmm. needs and more office visits and such. But one of the challenges we have is that our goal is to focus on some of the wellness things. And when you don't have enough providers, oftentimes patients only go to the doctor when they're really sick. And they don't go for those regular checkups yeah. and to get those things like their mammograms and you know their, their uh, um, PSAs checked for prostate cancer and their, you know, their A1Cs that they have diabetes or issues like oh, that. So. Nice. Yeah, colonoscopies and such. So we find that we don't get to do as much of that as we should be doing because we just don't have enough providers to get it all done. And so we are looking for two more family practice providers um, to add to the community, and we're actively searching for those now. So awesome. Um, and you know, just when I get that done, I'm going to need more. <laughs> yeah, because you know, we do have we have providers that may in the next few years yeah. retire. Yeah. Um, and you know, so we're trying to stay ahead of that game as well. Just trying to keep ahead of the curve and knowing what's coming. So. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. How the board meeting go? We had a great board meeting. Um, again, just very pleased at what the staff's been able to do. You know, we've got a campaign going on where we're really working hard to to make sure that Woodlawn can take care of the needs of the community. And um, due to that, we've seen um, some pretty pretty good increases in our financials over the last couple of months. Um, we have a positive operating income uh, uh, for the month of three hundred twelve thousand. And again, that's been our goal. Positive operating income means basically within the four walls of the hospital, everything we're doing is sustaining itself. Good. And so that's extremely important for us, and that's been our goal for the last couple of years. Um, you know, the providers and staff, they're doing a great job of getting people taken care of when they need to and getting them in for those tests and things um, in a quick manner and such. So very, very positive month. And, you know, kind of to talk about that, we want to make sure the community does realize, and remember, we do have a price match program. Oh, yes. And so if you have a, uh, uh, an order for an MRI or a CT scan or, or some service in another facility, um, if you can get that quote and bring it to us, we'll match it. Um, remember, it has to be ahead of time before we do the <laughs> procedure. Um, but we'll be happy to take that price match into consideration and take care of that. We want to take care of everyone we can right here in this community. Stay local. So absolutely stay local. 
Brad, can you talk just a little bit about MRI? That's a little bit different on the price match side. We can do some of it, but there's a reading fee or Correct. something. Can Correct. you explain that? Absolutely. So whether it's an MRI, a CT scan, um, or any of the services that require an outside mm -hmm. assessment by a physician. Mm -hmm. um, so with those, we're typically talking your radiologist or your um, pathologist if it's a special lab or biopsy. So we can price match anything that's related to wood lawn. So the actual exam itself and those kinds of things. But our radiology is read by an outside entity, uh, Summit Radiology, and so we can't make a decision right. to price match on their behalf. Um, so you they, will, they probably wouldn't like that. You know, if I can make those kinds of decisions, I yeah, absolutely. Um, so you'll get a price match for everything done at Woodlawn, but those other entities, um, you'd have to work with them directly if you wanted some of, there some of those questions answered. So. A um, couple other things we talked about at the board meeting yesterday. Um, one is our safety pen grant. So we want a grant of roughly $150,000 um, a few months ago. And what that's for is that's for our OB department. Okay. And so we're going to be putting in those little GPS type locators and all of those little sensors around so that when you have a little one at Woodlawn, um, they'll be tagged and they can't move anywhere around the building that we don't know. Ah. Cool. And so that work is going to be starting to come here in the next month or so, and so that's very exciting. Awesome. Um, it's a state-of-the-art system. It can let us know within two feet wow. of where that baby's at. So if they're down at the nursery or they're in the room or they're back in the back getting a procedure done, everyone will know. If they get close to the door, my goodness, the sounds you'll hear. <laughs> so just another level of safety and security for us at, at Woodlawn for the babies. Um, and then speaking of grants, um, I don't know if anybody read about it, but uh, Woodlawn won a federal grant this last week cool. for $750,000. Okay. It is a rural residency grant, and that's for, uh, that's for us to plan and get accredited to have physicians do the residencies here at Woodlawn Hospital. Cool. So it'll take about three years to go through the process. Um, we would be able to accept our first students uh, um, upon our accreditation in 2028, um, and we would be able to take second and third year residents. So that means they've already went through college, already graduated medical school, and they've already started their last three years of residency. Um, obviously, our goal with that is we want to bring more physicians that are going through training into this community and see what a great community it is. Um, and then, you know, we'll get them married and we'll get them houses and we'll get them staying here with us for long term. Um, but and then, it'll be and then you won't have to search as hard. That, absolutely, we won't have to search as hard. But you know, the nice thing is, is it'll just give people a, a different perspective on rural medicine. Yeah. Um, you know, rural medicine is different. Mm -hmm. um, if you talk to the physicians that work at Woodlawn um, in the outpatient areas, and you talk to physicians that work in outpatient areas, let's say in Fort Wayne or Indianapolis, they practice differently. Our physicians in our clinics do a lot more. Um, in their offices than you will see most primary care doctors doing in other urban areas. Mm. So uh, we want to get those kids here that are wanting to come back to small communities and get them that training right here in, in Fulton County. Awesome. So very exciting. Can't wait to hear uh, the more only, about it. The only um, organization in the state of Indiana that won and only the second in the Midwest. Cool. So we're very excited about it. That's awesome. Um, so we'll be partnering probably with Indiana University Medical School or Marion University's Medical School. Um, to, to work through that process and uh, awesome. we'll, we'll kind of keep you guys updated. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, looking Absolutely. forward to it. And then speaking of imaging and MRIs, just wanted to remind everybody, we do have a new test for prostate screening that we can do with our MRI machine. Mm. Um, so just another new service, another new thing that we can do at Woodlawn Hospital. Um, MRIs are non-invasive and- Keeping and up with the times. Keeping up with the times. New technology and new tests that we can do right here at home. So uh, traditionally, we used to have to send people up to Fort Wayne or up okay. South Bend to get those done, and now you can do them right here in Fulton County. Awesome. So, um, smoking cessation classes. We had Melinda on last month, mm -hmm. and she talked a little bit about it. Well, now we're up and running. Good. So if anyone has a desire to stop smoking or stop the use of tobacco, our classes are now filling up. You can call 574-224-1600 to schedule. Again, that's 574-224-1600 and get scheduled. Those are five-week courses, okay. um, one class per week for five weeks. Gotcha. And um, we'll be happy to get you scheduled and help you out. Awesome. Absolutely. 
Um, and then I don't know uh, if everybody realizes it, but it's it's fair time. It's <laughs> it's fair time across this little county and across the counties uh, around I was us. I say in the state of Indiana, north to south, it's happening. Absolutely, I had my first. Uh, what did they call them last night? Uh, we shared some ribbon fries. Oh. And that's just a potato that's been very thinly sliced yeah. and fried and put a lot of stuff on top of it. <laughs> um, and we all shared that at our little tent, our booth last yeah. night at the Miami County Fair. Okay. So um, we're, this week we're out at the Miami County Fair in the kids' barn, uh, watching all them little kids run around on those little tractors and bang into each other, and um, an occasional cry here or there, of course. But, oh, yes. um, overall, the kids are having a ball, and we're, we're happy to be out there. So Ready to go here in a couple of weeks at the Fulton County. We've got a list, Krista, and you can let us know. Okay, I, hopefully <laughs> I remember everything. Yeah. Uh, when Brad says July is busy, in my department it's very busy because we're coming and going all the time, I feel like. Um, so yes, we are at the Miami County Fair. We were last Saturday at Argus for the start of summer parade. We've been out and about um, both in Miami County and Fulton County for baseball, softball events as well. Um, coming up, if you, you should see us out. And if you do, please say hi. We love to greet our community. Um, we have the 4th of July parade that's coming up next week. Hard to believe that's the 4th yeah, of July already. Crazy. We will be mm -hmm. out the following Saturday at the Fulton County Demolition Derby. And then we will be at the Marshall County Fair the following week. And then we get a week off, I get to go to the beach. Yeah. Um, and then we get to come back and we will be at the Fulton Fun Days. And then we have some other um, parades and things happening we'll let you know. But um, we love to be out in our community. For us, earning the right to care for our community means being a part of our community. And this is awesome. one of the many ways we get to do this in the summer. And a shout out to our um, amazing team at Woodlawn who helps fill all the shifts. Um, we couldn't do it um, without our team. So we're excited to be out and about this year. Yeah, awesome. we had a lot of fun last evening and, and last Saturday with our walk in Argus. Um, beautiful warm morning, uh, uh, um, yes. but it was a nice parade and a nice walk. And I, I think the kids enjoyed getting some treats from Woodlawn. And, oh yeah. And uh, we had a good time. It was very nice, so. Can't, can't go wrong with treats. I mean, come on. No, you know, we were good this year. We did pass out some little little frisbees and stuff for uh -huh. the kids to play with, keep them a little active and stuff. And, uh, you know, they really enjoyed that. And we had a good time. And our ice packs are back, I guess we're famous uh, for right. our ice packs. That's right. They, made they were a time. hot item last evening. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, come out at the 4-H Fair in Miami County right now. And, and then again in Fulton County, Marshall County, we have a, I call it the Wheel of Destiny. Ooh. Spin the Wheel of Destiny and you win a prize. Ah. And um, last night, everybody was hoping that that doggone thing landed on the ice pack. There you go. And uh -huh. so I had, had some kids that weren't were too happy. They didn't get their ice pack. Are you the reason we have no ice packs? No, I'm not. I'm okay, not. just checking. I'm not. We were, we were running low last night. But uh, we'll be out there this whole week, and, and we look forward to seeing everybody. And, and uh, we'll talk to you guys again next month, of course. Brad, before you go, I know yeah. I, I hear a lot of things out and about in the community, and one of the great things I hear right now going on and people talking about is the rehab at Woodlawn Hospital. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about the rehab. I mean, people I know you know used to have to always go out of town, Warsaw, Fort Wayne, but your rehab department is uh, one of the top notch, and I know people really uh, talk about that. Absolutely, you know, my background as a physical therapist and working here at Woodlawn started as the rehab, director of the rehab department, and um, I will say without a doubt that our rehab team that we have down there now is uh, one of the best in Indiana. Um, we have exceptionally skilled therapists with, you know, you add up all their experience, we're talking 100 years worth of experience yeah. down there, um, and they can take care of pretty much anything you need. Um, orthopedically, they are far superior to anybody that we can see around here, yeah. and, and I'll put that up against anyone. Well-trained, compassionate therapists that do an amazing job. Um, that team is top-notch. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and I hear you know nothing but, but great things when you're out and about and people talking about it. You know, they might have had the, uh, the, the surgery or something happen someplace else, but they always want to come back to Woodlawn for the rehab. Well, yeah, great team. I think that's a really good point. You know, um, always at, we say stay local, but no, you have options. You know, if you're having your surgery in Fort Wayne, South Bend, Mishawako, ask if you can come back to Woodlawn yeah. because, you know, um, your voice in asking for your care options is, is critical in that moment. You don't always have to drive the long distance. A lot of times, 
doctors and out of um, out of town places, they don't know what Woodlawn offers. We're working to educate them on that, but um, you have the opportunity to speak up and they can check into it. And you know, we don't do everything, um, but like Dr. Sanders says, we do it, what we do, we do well. So ask and you know, let's see if you can come closer to home. Absolutely. You know, we have um, often found that, that providers in other communities, when we talk to them, they didn't know we were here. Yeah. You know, they didn't know that we had a swing bed program. Mm. Um, which is a phenomenal program that people can use for short-term rehabilitation when, they're, when they've been in the hospital. Um, they don't know that we have the team of therapists that we have. You know, I talked to uh, Fort Wayne Orthopedic and O&E doctors out of, you know, out of Fort Wayne, you know, Parkview and, yeah. and Lutheran, and, and once they've sent someone here, <laughs> they never have a problem after that. Yeah. They know what great work they do. So they go back and they see those doctors and they realize how, how their knees have progressed or their hips or their shoulders. And um, they're just very happy with them after that. So awesome. Always, you can always come home for care. There you go. Brad, Chris, thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you again next month. Sounds thanks. great. Thanks, guys. Woodlawn Report here on Giant FM.